I wanted to talk about this company today because there isn't a lot of opportunity to invest in this sector right now. If you like SpaceX at all, you would probably love to invest in SpaceX, but you can't because SpaceX is not a public company. Now, Elon Musk has talked about going public and uh, you know letting the retail investors jump in before the hedge, hedge funds, which is really, really nice. And with SpaceX and their Starlink uh, internet and stuff like that, it could be a pretty lucrative time to invest in a company like SpaceX. Now, if you if you look around, what company could you invest in that is potentially like SpaceX in the long run? And the only company that I can think of right now is Rocket Labs. And that's the company that we're going to talk about in this video. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We're going to talk about Rocket Labs in this video because I think it's the next best thing since Slice SpaceX. I don't know, that, that's a terrible joke. But uh, until SpaceX goes public, which I think we'll talk about in a minute, I think that's actually relatively unlikely, especially in the short term and maybe even in the long term. I'll, I'll give you my thoughts here in a minute about SpaceX and what I think they might do in terms of going public soon. But until that happens... I think Rocket Lab is the next best investment in this space, the space industry. I really, really do. And and part of that is because the, the projections here over the next six years, even if they come close to their projections, you know, the, we're talking about like a 30x increase in revenue for Rocket Labs over the next six years. And that would be absolutely fantastic for them. However, there are some potentially negative downward a catalyst coming very very soon for rocket labs in terms of a lockup period expiring and usually when that happens especially for SPACs when the lockup term expires there is a lot of selling pressure when there is selling pressure in a stock the stock usually falls because there isn't as much buying pressure to counteract the selling so if that's the case for rocket lab I'm pretty sure right now isn't the best time to buy, okay? Um, but again, do your own research. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, but I really think this lockup period coming soon will have a negative impact on the stock going forward. Now, the stock has already fallen quite a bit. Today, it's down right around 3%, but overall, um, over the last week and a half or so, it's down from over $20 per share. It's fallen down to right around 1450 per share. So it's fallen already quite a bit in the last couple weeks, but my guess is it will fall further uh, for various reasons. The main reason is the lockup period, but there's also issues with you know tapering coming soon potentially um, with the Fed, but also potentially interest rates going up, things like that that really are out of the hands of these growth stocks, but they really impact growth stocks more than anything so in terms of rocket lab going forward i think it's a really good opportunity very soon to buy as it gets closer to ten dollars per share which was that SPAC price now there aren't a lot of space stocks out there to invest in if you're familiar with arc x their space etf there aren't a lot of space stocks in that etf they have john deere you know you're the green tractor company i mean for many many reasons mainly because of their gps and different automation and things like that that they're doing but they don't have a lot of space stocks in that etf because there isn't a lot of options now regarding spacex going forward elon musk has said look if we do go public we will prioritize the retail investor which is really really cool i think he even if it's not true he's a man of the people even though he has over a hundred billion dollars to his name he's a he's an average guy right that's kind of how we think of elon musk even though he's not um he's a genius and that's fantastic but regarding spacex here's here's what i think would most likely happen i think they will split off Starlink, which is their internet service provider. They've been shooting up satellite after satellite, right? And getting pretty good speeds overall. Once that is done, once they're done doing that, I think that will split off into a separate company and that company will go public. I don't think SpaceX, personally, I don't think SpaceX will ever go public. That's that's what I think will happen. Um, but I could be totally wrong. Elon Musk has said over and over again, he doesn't want to have to answer to a board of directors. 
and uh, all these different people and the public in general, the stockholders and shareholders. Um, so I think overall, I think Starlink, Starlink will become a cash cow for them and they'll split off that side of the business into a massive internet provider um, and that will go public. That's what I think personally will happen. So then you'll have companies like Rocket Lab or Astra that are really some of the only public companies uh, that shoot, shoot rockets up in the air, deliver satellites, things like that. Um, so a company like Rocket Lab, I think, is poised uh, for a big, big future. I don't know if they'll hit these six-year projections where they have a 30x increase in revenue, but if they do, it will certainly be a great thing for this company. Now, if we take a peek at RKLB, Rocket Lab USA, again, down right around 3% today um, and this has a moderate buy based on three ratings two buys one hold with an average upside of 53 percent but again this was just a 20 dollars stock about 10 days ago wild wild swings with this stock so be careful if you're going to invest in this especially in the short term a lot of times if you invest long term you just invest in companies that you really really like and you believe in and you just leave it alone and don't look at it anyway that tends to be a little bit better for your anxiety and your heart and your mental health in general if you just invest and look away uh, but in the short term i think it's going to be continue to be volatile for rocket lab especially with this lockup period coming and expiring um, and uh, I think we're going to get closer to $10 before we get uh, back up towards $20. Just my opinion. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you love the space industry as much as I do. This Inspiration4 stuff that just happened where they launched four civilians into space and they orbited Earth for three days, I, I, I think is just absolutely amazing. So that's what sparked uh, me wanting to go over Rocket Lab with you guys. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.